In Columbus, and really the whole state of Ohio, nothing is more important than the Buckeyes, especially the pride of the Buckeyes. And a year that's taken so much away includes the presence of the best damn band in the land on game day. It feels kind of removed because we're, we're used to being right there on the field, right by, you know, right by all the action. Definitely kind of sad not being a part of game day or getting to do any of our normal game day stuff. Traditions like skull session, coming down the ramp, and playing Carmen, Ohio. Those scenes are not seen this season, but the show must go on, and it has in the form of four shows played inside an empty horseshoe. Well, uh, the acoustics are nice. I got to dot four times last year, and that was incredible. Um, a huge part of that was the, the crowd, but having no crowd, it was just kind of weird looking up at the uh, cardboard cutouts. Now the Buckeyes still have four regular season games left, including tomorrow against Indiana, but today, right now, is the band's final rehearsal of the already shortened 2020 season. We as people are remarkably adaptive. <laughs> I think that's the single big, biggest lesson to take out of this. Adapting by only practicing as a whole once a week, revamping their ramp entrance, and dispatching small groups around campus on Saturdays to make it feel and sound like game day. I'm just so thankful we can still like make music as a group together. We'll take what we can get because you know we, we love being a part of the band. Words can't express uh, the gratitude that I have for, for being able to still do this and be able to be a part of this and continue the traditions here at Ohio State. It's wonderful to be able to do. Local for you, Justin Holbrock, NBC4 Sports.